Yo, Elliot. Hey, what's up, guys? We've got a question here from our buddy Rauf. Rauf is an engineer student, right? And for the past several months, he has been attaining great gains. He's lost a lot of fat. He's built up a lot of muscle through strength training. Now school begins, and he wants to know how can he maintain his, his newfound body? How can he improve his performance for his sport, which is rugby, that begins when school begins, and integrate training back you know, into his schedule? Because he's got time demands with regard to school, sports, so on and so forth. So you've got to now understand where training fits into your life. At one point, you know, the past eight months, training has been your life. You've been able to dedicate as much time and energy as possible into your goals of losing weight. But now, you got to use it more as a tool as opposed to a life as opposed to a lifestyle, right? So, your a number of things that are very important. Number one is that you've got to see training as a way to improve your performance in your sport because they can be detrimental. They can they can fight against each other. A lot of athletes like training and they want to play their sport, but they bump up against each other because they don't realize that they've got to yield to the demands of the sport and the practice of the sport with their training. They just want to go and bodybuild and they want to lift heavy and they want to lift a lot of volume and then they go to play their sport and they're, they're fucking tired, they're weak, they suck. Their performance actually declines. You don't want that to happen. You want to use your training like medicine where it, it just, it, it, there's a subtle dose of it that allows you to maintain or even improve your ability to play sport while you're in season. That's really what it is, you're in season. And in season is, is for, an, for a student athlete is a lot more than in season for a professional athlete. In season for a professional athlete means you play once, twice a week. For you, it may only be once or twice a week, but you gotta get up at six o'clock every morning, you gotta go to school, you gotta sit down all day listening to teachers and you got homework and you got reports and you got all that crazy shit that you know that we're supposed to do and improve your performance in your sport and train so that you can do all those things and because you love training so here's the thing you got to understand that there is a pyramid of performance and that pyramid and the reason why it's a pyramid is because down at the bottom there's a foundation and up at the top is the pinnacle of your, your, your sports performance. Sports specific training begin, uh, is, is at the top of that. And when you're practicing every day, you're, all, you're doing a lot of the top of the pyramid. But the top of the pyramid, if it's always focused on, will crush the whole pyramid. Everything will fall apart. Think about it, you know, if you build a pyramid and you, you put a lot of emphasis and weight on the top and then you don't focus on or you've never built or you don't maintain the foundation, it's gonna come crumbling in, it's going to implode, right? So right now what you need to do is focus solely on the minimal effective dose of maintaining your foundation while you're always at practice doing sports specific training. And the great thing about this, it doesn't require, it really doesn't require that much. So this is, this is advice, this is broad advice for all in-season athletes, okay? You've got to deal with and focus on, develop and maintain that first rung, that, that very bottom of that pyramid, which is flexibility and stability. Another way you could describe that is as posture, mobility, joint integrity. These things are the foundation because if you don't focus on joint integrity, you don't focus on posture, you don't focus on having your uh, healthy joints, then all the strength training and all the sports specific training in the world is only going to act as a heavy weight that's going to implode your entire pyramid. That's your foundation. Your foundation is your posture. It is who you are that approaches everything you do. You do strength training, you do sports specific training, but you are your posture in so many ways, not just physically, but physiologically and energetically. You are your posture. I can't emphasize that enough, okay? I, I don't want to rant on it because that's probably a topic for another video. But even the way you think, your body is a part of your mind, even the way you think, your confidence, your ability to attack your strength training and sports specific training is contingent upon healthy, strong posture. So you've got to deal with that. And that's not a sexy topic. It's not one that you're going to see too many videos about. And not too many books are written about. All the books are written about shit up here. All the sexy stuff. 
luckily for you, luckily for you, I talk about this shit all the time. In fact, I have like five or six courses about it. I've got one course. Uh, it's called Advanced Neuromuscular Strength. That's like eight hours worth of video teaching you all the shit that I talk about about maintaining joint integrity, building up joint integrity, dealing with muscle imbalances, muscle viruses. Right? There's always a link down below. No pressure. I'll tell you most of this shit, right? That you need to know in these videos anyway. But that's it. Your foundation. Then, and it doesn't require that much. It requires, first of all, you don't gotta go to the gym. You do this shit at home. And it requires maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, at most, maybe every other day, of foam rolling, stretching, corrective stretching. Yes, you are going to wanna do um, static stretching. I said it a thousand times. You need to do static stretching because it deadens the nervous system's response to hypertonic muscles that throw your joints out of balance. No two ways about it, okay? And then one step beyond that, the middle of that pyramid is your strength. Strength is the foundation for power. Strength is the foundation for all sport specific movement. If you are weak, you will not be able to perform your sport. A lot of coaches, a lot of athletes spend all their time up here on all those fancy, sexy drills and exercises and sports specific shit. In fact, some of them are so dumb that they try to combine strength with sports specific shit. And they screw themselves all up because their foundation sucks anyway. Nobody focuses on the foundation. I know I sound like a broken fucking record. Anyway, your strength, development, and or even more importantly for you during your in-season maintenance doesn't require that much either. It requires maybe two workouts a week. I'd say about two workouts a week. Very low volume, very high intensity. Three sets of three, five sets of two, six sets of one, you see, I'm not talking about drop sets and supersets and circuits and all the shit that you probably did to lose weight and to build up the body you have. Because that all, that's all, that's all a, a, a more superficial component of strength, hypertrophy, and you really don't need to spend much time conditioning in the gym because you're doing it up in the sports specific area. So here's, here's, a fa here's the bottom line. Focus on your sports specific training when you are at practice. Right? I mean, there's nothing else you can do. Your coach is there. Focus on it. Give it 100% of your effort. Everything you have, give it to your sports-specific training. See it as what it is. It's fucking training. Go hard. Don't save yourself. I know a lot of athletes do this. They save themselves for the weight room. Don't fucking save yourself for the weight room. Okay? That's number one. Number two, stretch your muscles. Work on your mobility. Foam roll every single day before you go to bed. Every single day before you go to bed. When I was in high school, I did this shit. I would stretch on the floor, literally, right before I crawled into bed, I would stretch all of my muscles. Yes, static stretching. Stretch all of my muscles and then climb into bed. I had very few injuries, if any at all, compared to many of the athletes that I trained with, that I played sports with. Static stretch your muscles. Now, do it in a corrective fashion, which means you should probably understand muscular imbalance. But, you know, you can kind of, if you've watched my videos long enough, you probably understand which muscles are typically tonic. Stretch those ones every single night. 15 minutes before you go to bed. Boom. So far, really hasn't required much. Then, twice a week, go to the gym and do your base, your foundation multi-joint exercises. Do a squat, do a deadlift, yes, in the same workout, and do a press. If you've got some extra time, also do a pull, which would be like chin-ups. Keep the reps no more than five. Keep the sets no more than five. You do three sets, you know, basically what I said before. Keep the volume low, that's basically, you know, the point. And you'll be good, dude. You might even get stronger. Good luck. Yo, Elliot.